Hello again. <laughs> Hi, I'm back for round two. I'm feeling pretty good today. Sorry about the glare. I don't want to get eye fatigue uh, headache from staring at this computer for so long. I'm feeling pretty good today, so I decided I'm going to come back and do a little bit more power washing. Double stream, what does it mean? <laughs> I'm going to do some more power washing. It probably won't be a super long time. But I just I feel pretty good and I want to stream some more. I took care of Juniper. We're both fed. I feel much better. I even got myself a little, well, <laughs> there's not that much in there, but a mug of wine. <laughs> and then we'll switch it back to water and drink some tea and just, I just want to make the most out of this day. So cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's go wash some more stuff. I love this game. <laughs> I can't get enough. More vehicles, bleh. But let's do... Let's do them in... Wow. Caps. Hello, yuck! I hope you're as good with cars as you are with houses, cause I've got my old wagon out of the garage. It's dirtier than a dung beetle's Christmas list. <laughs> Still turns over fine, but I'm not taking Dolores out for a spin till it's as gleaming as she is. Thanks, Leonard. Thanks, comma, Leonard. <laughs> okay. Don't edit people's messages, Ponrick. It's annoying. What's up, JT? Welcome back. We're doing a double stream. You clean this car. This looks like a street racing car. washer that's funny how you doing JT do our classic stand on the car <laughs> ooh nice I like a double crochet it works up the length a lot faster than a single crochet and it looks fancy but once you get the hang of it it's so easy to do wait this is the wrong thing I wanted this one Heavy duty pressure washer. Turbo fast car. <laughs> you doing good? How are the puppies? I bet they're getting huge. We're good. I'm actually feeling pretty well today. Um, which is why we're doing a double stream. And Juniper's doing good. She <laughs> went absolutely crazy earlier. I don't know if you were here. I think you were probably at work, but I made biscuits and I was showing them on stream. This car has wraps. Uh, me neither. Like, she's got plenty of foods she's excited about. I've never seen her go that wild. Like, she was almost misbehaving. She's kind of misbehaving and she never does that. <laughs> it was wild. I didn't even know- I, I didn't even think to correct her because it, she just never acts like that. It's very unusual. Clean windshield. Can you imagine if you walked by and saw someone standing on top of their car like this to wash it? I almost need to because I can't reach the middle top of my car even though it's small. I'm just not that- I'm not super short but I'm not tall either. Like this part right here is very hard for me to reach. This is how you get addicted to the game. Uh, th this is how you tell you're addicted to You know it. What's up, Pedro? How's it going? I'm surprised you're still up. Isn't it late there? This car is filthy. I'm even using the heavy duty one and it's not enough. You're alive. Well, hey, some days that's all you can ask for. I'll take it. I'm having actually a very good health day. This is probably the best health day I've had in like a, a while, like maybe since like September. So that's why I'm back. I'm just trying to make the most of it and like still trying to figure out this stupid situation with my medication. So who knows when I'll get to stream again. So might as well do it up, I figure. Good to hear, yeah, it's good to feel. It's been a long time. Got it cleaned. 
cute with the glasses, thank you. I'm trying not to get a eye headache. <laughs> this is still dirty in here. Probably be better if I didn't stand on the car, but I'm not gonna get off of it. I'm gonna get right up in this car's face and clean it. Still dirty? Sorry for jumping on your car, Leonard. Standing on it. This is this a sports car? I'm not impressed. <laughs> I'm pretty judgmental, though, apparently. It didn't dent it or anything. Listen, I've done enough jobs by now, they should know what they're getting into hiring me. If they still chose to get my services, that's on them, not me. I don't see him coming out here and telling me to stop standing on the car. <laughs> they should expect this service from now. Or from... Oh, I already cleaned this house. I remember this house. Yeah, they should know what to expect from me. I do like that it's really low to the ground, though. It makes it a lot easier to clean. Windshield's clean. Or windshield, the back window. You get... <laughs> hey, dirt. Don't call me dirt. It's because Cavs Lock is stuck on. In the whole neighborhood. I'm honestly, I would take more maps. I'm loving this game. This guy's too much. This this is like the hardest thing to clean I've done so far. This looks like a car- it kind of looks like a car my dad used to have when I was a very little kid. To make a day in the- yeah, I will definitely play with you guys in the future. I just want to beat the single player maps first. Is the multiplayer fun? more maps and bigger yeah me too i i'm i'm i don't even think i'm like all like halfway through and i'm still like oh i'm gonna be sad when this is over because i'm i'm really enjoying it i'm enjoying it so much more than i thought i would like i wasn't too sure if i was gonna like it or if i was gonna be like eh, this is boring i'm crazy about it clearly <laughs> Which one of you guys wants to advertise your Twitch channel on this guy, bottom of this guy's filthy car? I'll paint it on there. He's not gonna notice. We let his car get this dirty. HTTPS colon slash slash twitch.tv slash Mr. Hellkiller. How long will you be? Um. Did you see how dirty this is, my dude? You need to chill out and leave me alone. It's gonna take longer if you keep bothering me, Leonard. <laughs> that drives me crazy when someone like hires you whoops, hires you to do work and then they keep coming and like, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Like I would be done if you would get out of my face. <laughs> 
Sir, chill with the caps lock. He probably doesn't know how to turn it off. I think that's probably... Or he's just impatient, like me, which, you know what? Me too. I'm the most impatient. I get it. I take it back. I understand. <laughs> Still dirty in there. Oops, did it again. Did he drive this through like a forest? square headlights it's so old it's like an what like an 80s car kind of a thing I guess I shouldn't stand in the street but I mean I've never seen a car driving so I'm not too worried about it indicator clean bumper clean I don't think both of the headlights went. Maybe they did? Maybe I just didn't notice. Did this indicator get clean? It's so relaxing, seriously. I've been, like every time I've watched anybody stream it, even though I want to watch the stream and support, I always fall asleep. As I've been saying the whole time is like, I, I really want to put these on my YouTube channel so I can go to sleep to them. And I'm sort of thinking about I don't know if I want to maybe record just no commentary, no cam, just this music and the game. Oh hey stream elements, welcome. A little bit later now, but that's alright. They came, they were almost on time to work earlier today. They're only five minutes late. That's alright. It's close enough. This seriously, these windows look very much like a car my dad had when I was like a really little kid. I'm talking like three or something. <laughs> In the late 80s. Or very early 90s. prefer the buildings to the car vehicles. What did you guys think? Did you prefer the vehicles or the buildings? I also wish the gun wasn't in the way all the time. I can probably like shoot it over there so it will be off to the side again. Brake lights. Number plate. Bumper. Filthy bumper. I think the skate park was my favorite one so far. It's just a big, that it was like a big flat area. Oh my god, this guy's so good at jumping. Let's go! There was just like a big flat area with shapes, and while it was, it took forever. Like, that might have been the longest one I've done so far. I just found it very satisfying. I did that one off stream, just going and like. I don't know, just it's something, there's something very satisfying about this game. Oh, look, my back. <laughs> This is my classic move on the car. I 
That didn't take too long. Car looks so fresh. You are a soap star. <laughs> Like the boot one? I liked that one too. It was it was unusual. This is the kind of building I'm like, I would love I would love to go and tour this building if it was real. But the I think the skate park was my favorite though. Oh boy. Back at the fire station. Oh no, how am I gonna get on top of this one? There we go. Police rules, fire rules. I've heard that the police and the fire department actually do have like rivalries, but I don't, I only know one cop and I don't know any firefighters. So I don't know for sure, but I've heard that from people. Hey baby. Took you three days to play at night where I, I was like, about to fall asleep in my computer chair as I was off meds and I'm just like Ugh, so tired I'm like man I wish I had this on some kind of portable device but I feel like if you had to use a stylus or something you're definitely gonna destroy your screen playing this super dirty because they're around fires all the time. I bet they have to wash it a lot. It's probably covered in we'll pass out if you play it on your own. I fell asleep to your streams when you were uh, streaming it, Pedro. Like, oh, I really want to watch this, but I feel so tired. <laughs> Everybody I've watched play it has put me to sleep. It's just so soothing. The noise of the water, it's just watching it slowly get clean, it's just so soothing. It just feels, it feels good to play and it feels good to watch it. Side of one? I don't know if I have. We used to have this fire safety thing at my school when I was growing up where they'd take it, they had like this little safety village thing, which was pretty cool. And they would like teach you stop, drop, and roll if there's a fire. And they had this like practice house where you would, it was so cool. They had like a little traffic thing where you would drive little cars around and like learn the safety laws and like those little kid cars. And they had like a house that they would like pretend be on fire and they would have all the kids go through and practice all the stuff we learned about fire safety so like staying low to the ground and like crawling through and testing the doorknobs at the back of your hand instead of the front so you don't burn your skin off the palm of your hand and like i think we like climb out a window at the end and stuff it was so fun it was like my favorite field trip ever but i don't know that we went inside the fire engine i don't think we did I would like to do that as an adult, honestly. <laughs> I still remember the fire safety, but I would love to go back to the safety village and do it again. I had a blast. I think like they should... Here's a rant. Another patented Ponrick rant. I believe we should have fire safety classes every year for everyone. <laughs> I believe that every it should be like tax funded and everyone should be able to attend it. I think everybody should get a free miniature fire extinguisher at the end of it and that we should have like fire safe like fire and emergency safety classes for adults and children and everyone that's age appropriate every year because there's so many little emergencies that come up that if you're trained in how to respond to it, you're much more likely to survive. 
I feel like that would be a really good use of tax money. Having a prepared population that you know, like understands like the Heimlich maneuver and, and not to touch the doorknob with the, with the palm of your hand, but to test it with the back to see if it's too hot to open and to stay low for smoke. The cat's not really missing. Oh, really? I haven't paid any attention to the cat thing. Did you guys not have a fire safety thing when you were growing up, Roms? I thought it was like a pretty typical American thing. But I grew up in a larger city, so it could have been because of that. You did not. I think everybody should have it. Adults and children. I really feel like that would just be a public good. stupid one that I learned the hard way, and I didn't burn anything down thankfully, but a stupid one I learned the hard way is tortilla chips are very flammable. <laughs> you should not put them next to your stove. If you're storing your tortilla, tortilla chips next to your stove, you should go and move those and put them somewhere else because mine caught on fire one time. And I was able to put it out real fast, but like there's a whole bunch of stuff that I just think even if you know it, having a refresher on it, having it fresh in your mind like once a year or something, makes you better prepared to react to an emergency. Like, um, don't put out a grease fire with water. If you've got a fire on your stove, usually the best thing is to like smother it with the pot lid, if it's, too, if it's small enough to do that. The only thing I was offered was a CPR course. That's good to know too. easier to clean these ladders if we took them off of the truck, you know? Yeah, everybody should have fire safety classes, I think. Or just general safety classes, but especially for fires. Their ladders being all rusted like this makes me concerned. It's not good. <laughs> the fire departments have rusty ladders. I think they need those things to be in really good shape. <laughs> One year, ten months, twenty-one days, thirteen hours. Huh? Can I glow? How you going? What time is it? It's late. I'm feeling like the best I have since probably September of last year, so I came back for more. How are you today? class. Ooh, I hope it goes well. Is it one of the classes you like or one of the classes you don't like? I like this one better. Are you working tonight? Are you pop in and make sure we weren't sick? No, actually, I'm feeling the best I have since, seriously, like September of last year. I'm having a really good health day. So it's a, it's a good weird time to be streaming. <laughs> I just want to make the most of it, because so I'm still having a med shortage, so I I just want to make the most of it. want to get some socialization time in and wash some stuff. But yeah, I'm good. But thank you for checking on me. I love you. Look how dirty these lines are. I'll just upload these bods to YouTube. There are a lot of rants in them though. I was hoping it would be like chiller than that. Not ranting about fire safety and stuff. Thank you. Have a good class. I hope you learned something that I hope you learned something useful. And the class goes smoothly. I'm proud of you. I believe in you.
guys aren't following Glow. You should. She's so lovely. She streams late at night. Thank you. Ooh, odd world. I don't know that one. Oh, don't jump off the truck. Ooh, we got one ladder clean. Gosh, that took forever. Oh no, no, no! I said don't fall off the truck. Dang it. Get back up there. So we're gonna get this other one clean too. The ran is like those commercials with touchy feeling songs. In the arms of an angel, far away from here. Do you know for just I don't know, how much do they say now? Five dollars a day. You could help. All these animals eat biscuits and not be so neglected by their owners. <laughs> was that for both ladders? Maybe it was. It doesn't really seem like it's getting any cleaner. I don't see any more dirt. Well, there's some down here. I loved that song when I was a little kid. I had that CD. Sarah McLaughlin. All of the songs were extremely emotional. Sweet dreams, Pedro. If you fall asleep, I hope you sleep well. Ladders are done. Okay. But is the bottom of this done? I don't think it is. Is that a sneaker noise? Warning light clean. Kind of middle has a different sound. Oh yeah, it does. Is it better or worse? What do you think? I like it. Ads coming. I was watching some more famous streamers than me the other night. So they were playing something I found really relaxing. And they were doing this thing where they would just like stop playing the game during their ads. And just chat for a minute. And I was like, that's a good idea. For a game like this, I don't really think it matters, but for like, maybe like Porsche or something, I feel like that's a good idea, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remember to do it or not. Oh, he said walking on metal. I thought he said working on metal. I can't read today. I'm tired. <laughs> But I should be tired. I streamed for a long time. Consider that. Just like, yeah, maybe... F like, for this, I don't really don't think it matters. Like, I doubt if anyone's gonna be like, Oh, that I didn't add and I didn't get to see you clean half of that headlight. They might be, but I don't think most people would. But like, for something with a story, or like a lot of voice acting or something, I feel like it might be good, because uh, my ads are only 30 seconds every hour, or two hours. Whatever the smallest is. So I could probably talk for 30 seconds. It's just if I'm gonna remember to do it or not. It seems very considerate of like, people who don't, well, people who don't have their ad blockers or people who aren't subscribed, but like maybe would like to be. Like I, I would subscribe to all of you guys if I had the money for it, but I don't, so. If you're playing something narrative, like that's, I feel like that's nice. Maybe we should all start doing that.
Blasphemy. I have ad blockers for everything except for Twitch. I leave them off so I watch your guys' and I'll sometimes just like go and watch your guys' ads to give you your 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00001 of a cent. <laughs> I know it's not much, but that's all I can do. But I don't actually like watch watch the ads, I just let them run. So have you ever seen me pop into your stream for two seconds? <laughs> Stay for like a minute and then I'm gone. That's what's happening. I'm trying to earn you a couple cents. I heard a cat hang on 10 feet from a lava flow. I don't know. Cats are inscrutable, my dude. Cats do all kinds of crazy stuff. We'll never understand. It's really kicked on. I'm so glad they have this thing where you can see where the dirt is. This game would be infuriating if it didn't have that. This is the one I like. Tank. Fill. Discharge. Crossley. I don't know what most of this stuff means. Wake on up to play? You're gonna play more Seven Days to Die? I need to see if I can get a drone on my computer because I want to play with you guys. It's like the only violent game I like. I think just because it's kind of like Minecraft. I want to turn the zombies off though. I just want to go exploring for real, like just put on some chill music and strike out and see what I can find. You protect me. I can, I can fight. I just don't. I'm not a big fan of violent games. Died of two bears. I think I killed a bear in my one time I was able to play it. I'm not sure you guys need to protect me. I'm a pretty good fighter. <laughs> I just- I typically don't go for a violent game. And it's kind of gross. Like, they're kind of gross. Still some dirt back here. Oh, this thing takes forever to clean. It's really kicked on. I mean, it's supposed to be that way, but it's just not really my... I, I don't know, I'm so shocked that I like it. It's not really my style. Is that plastic? Plastic on a fire truck seems like a terrible idea. That gets so close to a fire, wouldn't it just melt? Maybe it's like a heat resistant plastic. guys play today. Four, oh my god, for four hours? Wow. It's a long time. Did you guys, you said you stopped like right before the horde night? I can't say anything, I did this for like four hours and now I'm doing it some more.
this is hard to clean. This one didn't get clean. Neither did this. I didn't realize this wasn't all the way cleaned up. Look at all that. I missed a bunch. <laughs> I need a super long mouse and keyboard because my bed's like right over there. I just lay down and play. <laughs> I mean, I guess it has controller support, I think, but I would be fully off camera if I went over there. Satisfying. What's up, Blair Kaiser? How's it going? Just having a nice, chill, late stream. Because I can't stop playing this, my dude. I'm so into it. I can't get enough. <laughs> Makes you want. You're gonna end up sleeping? Isn't it time for you to sleep? Go to sleep. You've addicted too? Have you played it before? I'm like, I don't want it to end. I'm not even halfway through and I'm already like, I don't... <laughs> I'm already sad, I'm like pre-sad that the game's gonna end. <laughs> this girl is a pain in the butt to clean. I wish somebody else would do this to my car. <laughs> I don't really enjoy washing my car. It's one of the chores I don't really like doing. And I'm I'm not like the shortest, but I'm not tall either. I'm like 5'5". Five five, and I have a really hard time reaching like the middle top of my car. <laughs> it's very hard for me to clean my car on my own. I'd love to have my car detailed. I wish Arnold would come over and take care of it for me. Since he's coming over anyways, whether I want him to or not, apparently. If he cleans my car for me, I'll cook him something good. Like, I don't mind- there are a lot of gross chores that I don't mind doing. I hate washing dishes. Like, I hate washing dishes. And I don't like vacuuming. But, 
and I don't like cleaning the car. I don't like cleaning. I really don't like cleaning the inside of the car. I don't mind cleaning the outside as much. It's just annoying that I can't reach the whole thing. What's up, Idol? How's it going? You're too short to get the top. I know, like the top middle, there's like this strip where I just can't get it. I don't mind laundry so much. Um, I won't iron. I just straight up will not. Like, I don't see the point unless I'm going for an interview. And I hang dry things, so I'll like shake them out so they don't get too wrinkly anyways. I, but it's, there's like some gross chores that I mind a lot less than some of the not gross ones. Like I'm happy to clean the bathroom. I'm happy to scrub the grout. I'm happy to like scrub, like really get down and scrub the floors. I don't mind doing like the ceilings when it gets all full of cobwebs and stuff. Like I, I'm good with that. But I just, there are like a few chores that I absolutely hate. I'm looking for a girlfriend who has opposite chore hates to me. <laughs> It would be perfect. You do the dishes for a good meal? I'll, I'll, I'm a great cook. I'll cook for you, no problem. How are you doing, Idol? I know Idol plays this too. I hate laundromats. Flair Kaiser, if you live in an apartment, there's this thing called a portable washing machine. They use them in RVs a lot. And there's this adapter thing that hooks up to your sink. Actually, for anybody who lives in an apartment, it hooks up to your sink and it does like a quarter to a half of a load of laundry, like a small load of laundry. And you just drain it into like the sink or the bathtub or something and then get a hanging, like a drying rack to hang your clothes up. And yes, you have to do the laundry a little more frequently and yes, you have to do smaller loads, but uh, like a new one is like $250 and you can often find them used from people selling them because people will buy them for like baby diapers or baby clothes or things that like small loads you wash frequently and it will save you so much freaking money <laughs> in terms of like quarters and also in terms of not having to spend half of your Saturday or Tuesday or whatever your day off is at the laundromat not having to do your stuff Run into people on drugs at night, now you have your own laundry room. I still, even if you have a laundry room at your apartment, I still recommend sneaking in one of these portable washers if you can get your hands on one. You can buy them like on Amazon or something, but I recommend checking like Craigslist or something. I got mine for 50 bucks and it paid itself off within like, I did the math and it was like, I think it was like two or three months or something crazy like that. And I still have it. It's like, geez, maybe 10 years old at this point. I had to replace the hose, and I had to replace the... Oh, I can't think of the name for it, but like the drainage pump thing, the thing that pumps the water out. But it was really easy to work on. I don't have a lot of mechanical knowledge, and I was able to just like a piece you pull out and then plug in a new one. They're so good. I highly recommend it to anyone who lives in an apartment. Your washer was not set up? Yeah. It's so nice. How often do you wash? I usually do like once a week for clothes and then once a week for uh, sheets. And I have a huge king size bed and I have a lot of pillows, <laughs> like a lot of pillows, like I think I have like 12 pillows or something up there. So that takes me, I can do the flat sheet and half the pillowcases and then I'll do the fitted sheet and the other half of the pillowcases. So it's really, it's not too bad. I mean, yes, you can't put a full load in there, but for me, the amount of time and money I save having it is so worth it. It's so good. Highly, and you can get them in different sizes too, but I highly recommend that. I didn't know it existed or I would have had it my whole entire apartment living life. My first job was at a laundromat, so I extra hate them. I like grew I got this job when I was like 15 and had creepy old men hitting on me my whole life and it was awful. That's a lot compared to the queen queen bed and small ones. Yeah, I think you when I had a queen bed still I could do both of the sheets and then I would do a separate one for the pillowcases, but that's just cuz I have an outrageous number of pillows and I don't intend to change. <laughs> but I would say I could fit like I don't wear a lot of jeans anymore, more I wear more leggings. But I would say I could fit like probably, I mean, honestly, like a week's worth of clothes. Probably, I don't know, three or four pairs of pants, maybe six shirts, but I mean, they're women's shirts, so they're very thin. Uh, and then like a week's worth of underwear and socks and you're pretty much good to go. 
you're jealous of my pillow empire i have these like i live in an old building and so the outlets are in really bad places i probably could use more pillows the outlets are in really bad places so i have to keep the bed away from the wall by like about this much well, maybe even a little more. And so part of the reason I have so many pillows, one, just because why not take your luxury where you can get it. <laughs> but um, my dog has fallen in the crack of the bed before, and I'm really worried she's going to get hurt. And I don't have a headboard. I just have a bed like a college student. <laughs> and so I stuff like I have like body pillows and big I like keep all my old pillows and just put a bunch of them in one pillowcase and then I put that like behind the bed and on the side of the bed so Juniper won't fall in the crack and I don't drop my phone and stuff down there anymore <laughs> I got another portable washer when this one broke because the the drainage thing broke and I was like going to school and I was going to school part-time working two jobs full-time and I just didn't have time to even like think about messing with it so I found another one for 80 bucks and bought that and it was like a Kenmore brand which I didn't even know they made them it must be very old out in I think San Diego somewhere and so we drove down there and got that on a weekend and that one actually probably held a good like three quarters of a very large washer worth of clothes that was nuts i could even wash like big blankets and stuff in there with no problem so they do apparently make larger ones but that's the only one i've seen like that i'm sure i'm sure you can find it if you look i just could not recommend it anymore an igloo pillows <laughs> I love pillows. If Gio or Arnold actually do come visit me, I will buy new pillows because I don't want them to have to use my old nasty pillows. Plus, I'm using all my old nasty pillows and I don't want to share. <laughs> yeah, I would take a look at, into it. If you have a place to put it, it will save you so much money. Yeah, if, I, if they come visit, I'm gonna get them fresh bedding. Uh, they're coming in April, but I don't think I'm gonna see them this year. I don't- at least not in April. Maybe if they come back. I know Gio wants to come out and see me, and I- I really do want to meet him, but... I'm scared of getting sick. But whenever they- whenever- whenever I do let him come see me, I think I'm gonna replace one of my couches for him. And get a sofa bed, or some- something. My couches are not nice to sleep on. You have seven. How many are over there? Well, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I know two of those have two or three pillows in them. <laughs> Juniper likes pillows even more than I do. She'll like dig in the pillows to make a bigger stack and then go to sleep on it. She's such a little princess. I love it. I found this thing on Amazon that's like a chair, like an armchair that folds out into a twin bed. I'm like, that could be really good. But then you have to sleep, sleep on a twin bed. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have to decide yet. And then Gia was like, um, I could just use an air mattress. And I'm like, oh yeah, air mattresses exist. <laughs> I forgot about those things for real. I was looking at furniture options. I have this one couch. It's very like mid-century modern and it's very pretty, but it's not comfortable to sleep on. And it's huge for the space. So I'm like, eh, I've got sleeping bags and stuff, but I have tile floors. It gets kind of cold and uncomfortable. You can sleep anywhere. I've got one oversized love seat that I intend to keep that looks like a sleeper. It looks very like picture a sleeper love seat in your head. That's what it looks like. It's like got a very deep seat and everything. And that is okay to sleep on if you're curled up, but not for the whole night. Like it's great for a nap. I wouldn't want anybody to sleep on it for multiple nights because they're gonna get a backache. And then the other couch like I really like the other couch, but I my last cat before she passed away was very sneakily scratching up the bottom of the fabric so it looks kind of bad 
And I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to afford to get it reupholstered. And I just feel like maybe it's time for something with a bed inside of it. And then if my parents or anybody ever come to visit me, I can give them my bed and go sleep on that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I would have said they could share my bed until Arnold talked about smashing. Now he's not allowed in here anymore. <laughs> Poor Arnold. I don't think he's here to defend himself. If he is, we're gonna know it in a minute or two. <laughs> My couches could use an, like an upgrade or a replacement. They're not bad couches, but they're very old and they're not that comfy anymore. Juniper claimed the big couch, so I don't even know if she would want someone to sleep on it. <laughs> I always sit on the love seat and she sits on the big couch. I'm in a sectional couch so you can rearrange it. I love modular furniture. I'm a big fan of that. As someone who unfortunately lives in apartments, it's nice to have stuff that can be organized in different ways depending on where you live at the time. A smaller, like a smaller kind of couch or love seat or something that folds out into a bed would fit my current space a lot better than what I have right now. It's so much furniture crammed in here. It's not quite as bad as my Porsche house, but it's not far off. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Tetris. sectional couch but I was like dude it is not fit in here and then she came over and she's like oh yeah no it's not <laughs> no it's not yeah my room too I've got like this little streaming corner the world's largest bed there's like a, an end table that's way too big for this room a love seat and then I put the dresser in the closet because it's not gonna fit anywhere else but I don't know that I can change. I've always done that. I cram a lot of furniture into a small space. And I like to have it all like, ar it's arranged nicely. Like my house doesn't look bad. But I like having lots of furniture. I like having lots of seating options. Why don't you come visit then? Ugh. Cause it's in terrifying f Kaiser, I've had like more nightmares about Florida than anything else in the like last year or so. It's so scary there. Then you can come say hi. I mean, honestly, it would be more effective for me to come there. I know so many lovely Floridians now. It's so nice here. What do you mean? All the news out of Florida is terrifying. I wouldn't mind coming to Florida for a visit again someday. I know, I mean, there's you, there's, well, Jesse's not there right now, but he might come back someday. Arnold, Geo, Glow, Nixie, I don't even know who all else. There's a bunch of you guys down there. I'd love to come to Belgium someday. The only thing with me traveling anywhere is because I'm disabled, it would be really hard for me to do it. I don't really think I can fly and it would be hard for me to drive out there again. And also, I'm not leaving this dog <laughs> for a second. She's coming with me wherever I go. So I've been thinking a lot since I became disabled that like, I would really like to become an RV person. Because I really loved camping before I got sick. And if I had like a, a van I could sleep in or something like that. One of those small, like small campers or a small trailer or something like that. Or even a car that would just actually be comfortable to sleep in for a long trip. That maybe I could do that because it wouldn't also as long as I had enough of my meds it wouldn't really matter if I was I, one of my best friends lives in Texas she lives in San Antonio but then I could like bring my dog with me and she could stay in the camper because she's she's okay she's not destructive or anything and that way I wouldn't have to be like trying to deal with 
finding someone who could she's not gonna let anybody watch her honestly she's not very well socialized because i got sick like shortly after i got her and that's my fault but also i don't feel like there's too much i can do about it at this point so she's got to come with me and i would want her to anyways i'm like i don't like to be a part with her halfway could work though I wouldn't- I would like to see Florida again. We used to go there a lot when I was a kid for vacations. We went, I think we went once every other year to Florida. We went to Cocoa Beach and Daytona Beach and... Where else did we go? We'd always go to like off-season places and it was nice. I have very serious- I- you guys maybe could have met me in another life because I very seriously considered going to whichever Florida University has the Gators as their mascot. Is it University of Florida? It might be. But I was like, ooh, they don't seem real friendly towards gay people <laughs> in most of that state. And so I decided not to. But I was like this close to coming there. Alright, what are we missing? I'd like to go look at all the plants again someday. I'm such a big old plant nerd. And that was something I really liked as a little kid. Like, it's so tropical down there. Tell me if you see something glowing. Oh, I saw it. You wanna go to the aquarium? I'm into aquarium age. I wanna go to a museum. I wanna go to a science museum. Keep talking yourself into coming. <laughs> I'm not really well enough to do it right now, but maybe someday. It's some, it like, I feel like if I'm not gonna get better, if I'm not gonna get healthy, if I'm not gonna be able to, like, not gonna be able to go to Belgium or go back to school or do any of the stuff that I wanted to do with my life, I at least wanna find a way to travel around the States. I know so many people now that I could go and visit or stay with for a little bit or whatever. Since we are the same person. Yeah, me and Pedro are too much alike, we're not allowed to meet. <laughs> um, that's why I'm like, I really kind of want to be an RV person. I was a camping person before, so like I'm used to, I'm used to kind of roughing it and I enjoy that. But if I had like a little, little van or something, then I could just, if I'm feeling sick, I'll just drive for like an hour and then park and stay for a couple days until I feel better and then just keep on going. Pose, fog lights, windscreen. They're still not clean. Camping is so much fun. I love camping. That's if Gio or Arnold comes down here, I'm gonna get them to take me camping. I've got all the camping gear. I even still have firewood. What happens when you fly? Nothing does. I just, I know my dog would not do well flying and I'm really anxious about being around people since I got so sick. I haven't really like left the house much at all except for doctor's appointments since 2020 happened and I'm getting emotional, sorry. <laughs> and I'm just too nervous to do it. I don't I don't want to be on a plane and I get like I get this thing where I get like so fatigued and tired that I just kind of like fall asleep. <laughs> it's like you sit down or you're gonna fall down. And it's embarrassing and I'm not used to being disabled around people because I haven't gone around anyone yet. And like I have to use a wheelchair and stuff. I'm not very good at it yet because I'm not practice and I just feel awkward about it. Maybe like eventually it will be fine, but right now I feel like, oh man, I don't, my life has changed so much and I don't know how to function this way yet. So that's all. I could fly. I could fly. I just guess I don't want to right now. I'm not afraid of flying or anything, or I guess I am now, but I'm afraid of people getting me sick. But I'm not afraid of heights or anything. I used to fly. To boost my confidence in coming out. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna have my parents visit me this year, which I haven't seen them in like three or four years. So that's gonna be my big test to see if maybe I can start seeing people again. And my other thing with seeing people is like, 
I feel really bad if people come all the way out here to see me and they stay for a week and I can only see them like two days out of the week because if I, I'm like a Victorian child in a novel, if I get too excited, I like pass out for three days. It sucks so bad, but I don't want people to be like, oh yeah, like Pondrix this this active like adventure girl because i used to be and i still want to be but i'm not anymore i'm like really sickly and i don't think it shows so much on stream but it's like it's very bad and so like i've talked with geo a lot about it just like try to give him realistic expectations about what it would actually be like to spend time with me i just can't do what i used to do it sucks that's cute i mean that kind of makes me feel a little better honestly <laughs> What are fog lights on a truck? These ones? Security, like, no one gets close. <laughs> Is it this one? Hang on, let, let's not guess. Let's just look. Um, even if you need rest, you get to... Yeah, that's true, because I know I know a lot of good stuff, but... It's gonna, just gonna take me a while to get used to it. It sucks to be like this. Yay! We did it. That took forever. <clears throat> I wasn't too focused on that one. Alright. I wish we had another house. We got some graffiti to look at. That's actually pretty nice graffiti. This looks like henna. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Do you have one nearby? These two again? These two are loaded, dude. They got this house, they have some vintage car, and now they got an RV too. Whoa, they're living the life. Wait, I need to get on top of this thing. <laughs> this isn't how we do things around here. Oh look, more graffiti. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, maybe hippies owned this before? <laughs> oh, sorry guys. I still did it. An eye. Smiley face. I'm streaming so late we might be able to raid Arnold, goodness me. Oh no, I think he's not streaming because it's his grandma's birthday today. Is that what he said? Or grandma's birthday dinner? Something like that. They sold the car for a lot. I mean a lot. I mean a yes we do one, a super- to supersize a lot. <laughs> uh. 10 minutes away? Wow, that's really close. That's awesome. I don't know if we have... I'm not sure if we have one around me. Where I live is not like a real big place. I'm sure there's some in LA. install some solar panels on this thing while I'm up here and then steal it. <laughs> I'll go see the Floridians. I do want to go back to Europe. I have a friend who lives in Hungary and he's got two kids that I've never met. It makes me sad. But the big problem with that one is what am I going to do with this dog that's afraid of everyone? 
can't really bring her with me on a transatlantic flight. And even if I could, she would not do well. I feel like they might have to come see me. And I might not be leaving the country until her lifespan is completed, which I hope is not for a very long time, but I just don't think I could do that to her unless she decides she likes somebody else. She might be okay with my parents, but <laughs> I would hesitate to leave her there because I don't think my parents know how to say no. And I might come back to a spherical dog. What's up, Jamie? How's it going? You had a good day? I wish we had a building instead. I need to wrap it up again pretty soon. Just like the biscuits. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's how I get her to like someone. You like the way I waggle this thing around? Do you? I figured people would be annoyed about it. But it works. I like the color of this. It's an, a fun color. It looks better on my TV than over here, but that's a nice color too. Just am impatient, that's all. makes it seem like this would not be the game for me, but I love it. Still dirty. Isn't that every stream? Where's this supposed to be set? Seemed like it was Alaska, but they spell things Britishly. Is it Canad is it Canada? Is it Canadian? Canadian game? That's actually wine. It's not tea this time. But before I had... What did I have today? I had some of this like energy tea. And then I drank a bunch of water. I had the energy tea again. <laughs> then I drank a bunch more water. And I'm drinking a little bit of wine and then I drink some more water. Drinking on the job, I am. It's me. Just this once. Did you see this is a job? Power washing or Twitch? I don't exactly see Twitch as a job, but I do sort of because I can't have a regular job. So it kind of does, if I had a regular job, I don't think I would, but because I can't have a regular job, does that make sense? I kind of do. Because it gives me that kind of, it gives, allows me to feel that kind of like usefulness and utility and a sense of purpose that a job used to do for me, which I very much need in my life. I think everybody needs that. So in that way, yeah, kind of. But in terms of like, do I dread getting up to go to work? No. It seems more like hanging out with friends in terms of that, but yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> If I still had a job or was still in school, this would feel firmly in hobby territory. Like 100%. But I'm really grateful I've got it to get that sense of 
satisfaction and purpose. This is not doing the job. Do you see Twitch as a job? Any of you guys? Like for yourselves, I mean, it definitely is for some people. Oh yeah, this is the one I like. It's the opposite of a job for you? Sometimes it's straight up not safe for what's TW. Oh, not safe for work? I just automatically assume it means something I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is that? Is it a type of like keyboard layout? It's a hipster keyboard layout. Oh, interesting. I've never heard of it before. What's the benefit of it? For me, it is a hobby, but if I can ever do it as a job, I would. It's kind of fun if you're bored. There's no real benefit. Oh my god. Filthy. People say there is, but I don't buy it. It's a means to an end. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't know how to steal- I don't believe that. I bet you do know how to steal cars. I feel like if anybody knows how to steal cars, it would be you. I, f I fully believe you know how to steal a car. I don't think you do. Do it. <laughs> But I fully believe you know how. As a long time user, I can say there are no benefits to it. Good to know. <laughs> if I would suddenly get healthy and stay that way, I would immediately run my butt back to school and I would be applying for grad schools like my little life depended on it and I would be out hiking every free second that I had and I would take out a big 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 school loan because all I want to do is research. I just want to make some positive contributions to the knowledge that we have and if I got the chance to do that, I would take it in a heartbeat. Not that I would, I can't, I can't say like I would stop streaming entirely because I do really like video games and I like, I like this way of experiencing them now that I've gotten used to doing it. But I think the streams would probably become a lot more like hiking and exploring and like irritating vlogger style getting in people. I try not to get in people's way. I'd probably go like back, backward stuff, but I think it'd be more like real life experiences than gaming because I've never been a very much an indoor kid and if I get the chance to be outside all the time I'm going to take it and run this is not doing it Oh, Mr. Hockular wasted some points. I feel like there's still dirt in here. Can I get in here? There we go. There we go. Oh, Jamie wasted some points too. <laughs> Does it feel good to waste points? I didn't actually think anybody would redeem that when I added it. 
and I think it's one of the most popular ones. This is taking forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Realms wasted points. Vader wasted more points. Jamie wasted more points. So I wish we had a building instead. I'm sad this is probably gonna be uh, it's like somewhat likely to be our last one. Alright, see you later, Jamie. Have a good rest of your evening. We've only got $2,600. We need like five grand to buy the next more powerful gun. This is not cutting it anymore. Oh, they painted the tires too? <laughs> These people are getting wealthy. song. Sleep like the wind. Can he's going to sleep? It might be a little bit early for him. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> you do not have to come back. You're welcome, but you're not obligated. That's what I always say. D apparently has a different opinion. Don't touch me. <laughs> what? What do you- what is it? Maybe. What is it? I'm instantly nervous. <laughs> I've been hanging out with too many trolls. Just instantly nervous. job very much. I'm gonna go back to the lower power ones. Or have a higher powered gun. Didn't know how it would look. What do they what do people use that for? I've never really used it.
dirty. It looks fairly clean, but it's not. This thing is <laughs> shaped really weird. You don't like Jigglypuff? Well, I'm stuck on the bush. Oops. Wow. He is not a fan of Jigglypuff. Apparently. That's okay. We won't make you have a Jigglypuff. on the tire. Okay, we got that one. Feels like this is gonna ding over to say it's done pretty soon? It's just like a speck here, a speck there. Okay, this is the part that's making us up. There we go, okay. That's what it was. Seventy-eight percent clean. Whew, it's taking forever. Heading to bed. All right, sleep well, Pedro. Thanks for stopping by. If you guys are not following Mr. Hellkiller, you should. We're gonna all follow. style. Like I always say and then I don't do it. <laughs> Maybe this time. Maybe this time. <laughs> you don't have to come back. <laughs> don't listen to D. He doesn't speak for me. You can come back if you wish. We are not obligated to. <laughs> You're full of beans, dude. pretty good. It's your favorite kind of bean. Mine is, well, I don't think it actually is a bean. I think it's a pulse, but lentils. I love. We want you to have the RV. Let's go. We're going to visit the Floridians. Wow. At least they're generous new rich people. Lentils are delicious. I want to try to grow them. I've never heard of anybody growing lentils. You sprouted them? Did you actually grow a plant or you just ate the sprouted ones? Aw, this is nice of them. I appreciate their generosity. 
the sprouts. Well, if it's mine, I would just stop washing it then. <laughs> it can be half dirty. Pay me and they're gonna give me an RV? doesn't this like these even this is the, like the most intense one with the spray is not taking the dirt off anymore which is frustrating I think I can only use the highest pressure one I need a more powerful gun at this point I think but I've made as much money on these jobs as I can, I think. Is that a challenge? Is what a challenge? The tip you're using? I don't know. It's just like when I use these ones, it's like barely getting the dirt off. Like it'll take it'll take off this little stuff, but then these ones, it's more like rust or paint. Like even this one is having a hard time getting it off. I say as it gets it off just fine. <laughs> like some of these dirt spots seem like they're not getting cleaned well. I think it must be like rust or something. And it's a little frustrating because cleaning it all with this small jet is kind of annoying to do. Please pick it up. I wish I could put it like on the floor again. <laughs> it just shoots back to where it was. Let's put it in the back. I think that's pretty clean back there. It's a bit tedious. I prefer the other ones where you actually could use the other nozzles. And I bet they're just gonna be more and more like this as we go. Off at least. 
Even this one that I like, because it goes around crazy, isn't cleaning all of this stuff up anymore. and stuff? It's hard to clean. We're 99%. We're getting there. here. It's not clean. It's over there. How do we get back there? Are you from that side? There we go. What's left? Where's the dirt? Unclean, unclean. Don't you come around and unclean this RV. <laughs> You're gonna be grounded. I feel like these indicators might not be fully cleaned. Let me know if you see a flash. Yep, I thought so. Are these turn signals way up here? I knew it. Your brightness is off. Um, will have my TV turned down like as low brightness as it will go because it gives me headaches. So kind of. And it doesn't display the colors correctly anyways because it's a TV. <laughs> Yeah, the dirt may be more obvious to you than it is to me. I don't think I see the flashes as much. It's not real obvious to me. Is that one? Yeah, I think it, that works to ask you guys to help me find it. If you do see any flashing, let me know. <laughs> Cause I don't. We should be looking at this one. Oh, brake lights and indicators. Bottom of the door. Looks like it's just the brake lights and the indicators. I didn't remember that this was like over here, so we could just go for the brake lights and indicators. Three brake lights? I don't see any dirt showing up on these. Look up. 
Like up, up? In the rear. Okay. In here? Those three ID lights? Oh, these ones. I'm sure that you're right. I'm certain that you're correct. Yep. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, you're right. I couldn't see that at all. That should be job done. If we can get a queen. Not a good way to celebrate. All right, let's see how we did. See all the graffiti. And then painstakingly clean this RV. Harper here, just want to thank you again for gifting me the RV. Wait, gifting her the RV? Am I Harper? <laughs> I thought I was getting an RV. I'm about to hit the road, heading for pastures unknown. She's so beautiful and so clean. I know you said not to, but I sent some cash over. Maybe put it towards a washer upgrade? Take care, and I'll keep an eye out for any interesting jobs for you. You're the best. I wanted the RV. <laughs> Jeez, Harper. I thought I was getting an RV. I was gonna put on solar panels and go visit the friends in Florida. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a high pressure hose. I want a building. I wanted to clean a building. Do, 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 do. Dang it. Mars Rover, a gnome fountain? That looks annoying to clean. RV company upgrade. A train? A mini golf course? Paintball arena. I don't like doing the excavators as much. I'm disappointed we don't have another building. <laughs> Oh man! We would try the mini golf course. I don't think we'll finish it, but we could do a little bit of it before I end this bonus stream. I don't know if I've seen the three amigos. Who wants an ice cream? Oh, never mind. I can't get you one. They won't let me over there. Why is my gun like this? What? What's wrong with my gun? It looks weird. Is that soap? We're near the skate park, I think. I mean, you're actually here. Wow. Yeah, I'm here. Does this one have limited water? It might. I don't know. Soap? Management makes us speak oldy worldy to all external contractors and then wonders why no one ever turns up. We also have to give ourselves fancy names and prance around telling people they. They potteth well. Hey, you know there are other jobs, my dude. Oh, this is bright. <laughs> but at least it feels like it's cleaning normally again, unlike the RV. My family was really big into mini golf when I was growing up. I don't mind it as an adult, as long as people aren't too competitive with it. Just like every game I play, you guys know what I'm like. Dang. This one looks fun to clean. Lots of strange little things to discover. Mm. 
Let's see if we can get up there. It's so dirty, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I've got like extra guns? I think they gave me stuff I don't actually have. <laughs> Give me go. Look at me. I'm a jump master. I can jump like nobody's business. This is the dirtiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe the grass is still alive. the skate part, which I liked the most. We'll see if I continue to feel that way. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be intense. I am getting down to the nitty gritty. What's up, Iris? Welcome back. Good to see you again. How you doing? We're just cleaning RV. I didn't like that one as much. Whoa, look at me jump. I'm so good at jumping. I seriously think my character should quit power washing and do like long jumping competitions or something. Like join the Olympics. This person's the best jumper I've ever seen. House Flipper 2? I have House Flipper 1. I think House Flipper 2 is supposed to have fixed some of the like tediousness issues, right? Have you played it yet? I'm crazy about this game, dude. I'm feeling it so much. I just want to play it like all day and all night. We got these rocks cleaned while we're up here. Look at how good I am at jumping. That's crazy. I played a House Flipper 2 demo and I made it last as long as a real game. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost done with the storyline already. I will do, I think I probably will do House Flipper 2 as like my I'm not feeling very well game. Or House Flipper 1. I don't have to. Number one. when I'm not feeling up to storyline stuff and voice acting. Games like this are great for that. Whew, that's so bright. This makes me want to go play some mini golf. There's still some dirt back here. Is that just water? It might just be water. I don't know how the soap works, because they told me it's a scam, so I didn't buy it. Are you just supposed to give it like a little squirt and then wash it off, or are you supposed to use it like a hose? Mini 
No entry, boys only. You guys know what happens in February? Gio's gonna play Persona for me. And also for all of you. But especially for me, because I love it so much. Persona 3! Starting on February 2nd. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait for February. This way to start! Did we get this side? No. Trying not to wash the knots out of the wood again. I'm so happy this one's back to like normal strength dirt instead of hyper dirt that even your strongest nozzle can't clean very well. Do we make money for these ones or not? These bonus ones? Welcome back home. That seemed like a quick class, Glow. How was class? Did you learn anything interesting? We got given an RV and then some lady stole it from us. Yes you do. Oh nice. Maybe we can save up for that more expensive gun so that future vehicle cleanings won't be so frustrating. It was fairly short again. It seemed like uh, it was an Oh is this a new class? I think we were finishing up your old classes. a strong bucket. Look at that thing, it doesn't budge. There we go. Look at those jumps. You passed last class. Oh, they're new semester classes. Ooh, do you have any that you're particularly excited about? I kind of dig the color of this wood. something somewhere. Aha. Hmm. Aha, there it is. There it is. So now I have one Tuesdays at 7.45 to supposedly 9.30 and then Saturdays 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Oh wow. You're gonna be busy. Beautiful. Are you sick of me doing this already? I bet you are. Don't worry, Glow. I didn't buy the soap. I took you guys' advice. This is just a bonus level. So I guess things are different. Oh, big shakes! Whoop. Queen. This rock does not want to ding. I need to wrap it up soon. I've been live for so long today. <laughs> I'm gonna be exhausted tomorrow. It was fun though. I've had a good time. It's very hard to stop playing this game. I must say. I had a really good playtime with Juniper. She was so excited after that biscuit. <laughs> she lost her mind over that thing. Maybe I need to bake biscuits either more often or 
not, not often. <laughs> oh no. A slight headache. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it clears up soon. <laughs> Felt great when you left the house. Oh no. Is somebody wearing like a. Was somebody uh, wearing like a strong perfume or something? Telling a secret. I cheated and put the balls in some of the holes because I couldn't push them in with the water. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. You can cheat at mini golf idol. I don't mind. My, I win if everybody's having a good time. We don't. I usually try to make people not keep score when I play games because I come from an extremely competitive family. So you're you're in a safe place to make a confession like that. <laughs> That's very funny though. <laughs> I think I've watched you cleaning some of this golf course. Like in the morning when I first wake up, I don't usually say hi if I'm lurking in your stream. Oh my god. Sorry everyone. What am I standing on? If I could F5, I would. It is so relaxing. It's just like outrageously relaxing. It feels good. It feels good and satisfying to play it, and it's so relaxing to watch. But it does make me want to fall asleep really badly. Extra long gun. Makes me think I could power wash. Me too, but I bet I couldn't. I'd probably be like, ow, my arms! <laughs> and also, I'm so dirty now, I don't like it. I wonder if anybody has actually tried to start a power washing company because of this game. I bet somebody has. You breaks I would do. I don't know the first thing about it. This game definitely inspires a, fal a false confidence in me though. <laughs> by day, gamer by night. <laughs> power wash all day and then power- I feel like people who do power wash probably would not want to play this game. This would be like, work. <laughs> I don't want to work at home. I work at work enough. Are clean. Buckets clean. Are these even dirty? They don't look like it. That flash is terrible. It's like farmers playing a farming sim. Exactly. Like, dude, I do that all day. <laughs> it's not this easy, and I don't want to do it at home. Would that white one work on this? bit weak. The ca car wash foam cannons? I don't know if I know it. You mean like the gas station car wash where it shoots soap at your car? The soap's not- oh yeah the soap should shoot out a foam. What is this garbage? Well, it does help it clean faster, but yeah, it should be a foam. Little to park toilets, cute.
Are you streaming tonight, Glow? I don't- I can never remember your schedule, I'm sorry. You have a schedule and I just can't remember it. So do you, like, run out of soap? The soap might have been useful in the RV. The RV was frustrating to wash. Give it time to soap. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> if I ever leave something, it is either never gonna get done or it's gonna sit there and eat the paint off of it by the time I forget to come back. Or remember to come back. This is <laughs> I'm terrible at that. I'm trying to chill out for now since feeling really uneasy with a small headache. I hope you feel better. You can get some water and painkiller in you maybe. See if you feel a little bit better. Let it marinate. I can't. That's for patient people. I'm not one of those. Is that how the soap actually works in the game? other stuff. <sighs> okay. I'll oh, sit clean something with soap. Ooh, look, a dragon. I don't feel like it works like that, does it? You need to let it sit. It doesn't seem like how the game would work. But maybe it does. That's how it works IRL. I know, but it's not the same as real life. If it was the same as real life, it would be horrible and not fun. <laughs> not much of a sim. I don't know. It's enough of a sim. It does seem like the soap works, but maybe I'm delusional. It does seem like it made it easier, but I don't know that you need to wait. I think you can just squirt it and then squirt water. Do you run out of the soap? Wide circular spray. No foam and no letting it sit. You just squirt the soap and then rinse it, right? But I don't think it works that way in the game.
Like all in one. Oh, so you don't even soap then rinse. You just soap. Like this. And then it gets it supposed to get it off faster. Well that seems terrible. Yuck. Never mind. I hate it. It doesn't work. It's just because we pre-sprayed. <laughs> Glow's right. It's a scam. Don't use the soap. It's like a four ounce bottle. No, that sounds horrible. We're done with soap forever. <laughs> we'll only use soap in real life from now on. Where are you still dirty at? Doesn't make sense. If he doesn't like it, he's gonna make his own power wash game with soap that makes sense. I'll test for you. I'm not gonna play it right, but that's good. That's good beta testing. Then you can see what weirdos like me are gonna actually do. seem worth it. Why is this guy still dirty at? He didn't ding. Dirt on him. I can't get up. There we go. this thing cleaned. We like this. Oh my god, it's so bright. Um, the soap will maybe also cause you to go nuts because it'll clean a bunch of things quickly with an almost 99% of the crevices. Oh no, that sounds horrible. That's the worst part of the game. right here clean. Did I get it? I don't feel like this night is clean yet. But I don't see any dirt shining. Do you guys see it? I don't know. 
I don't see it. Houses. It makes me think of Hilda. If you guys have not watched Hilda, you should watch Hilda. It's like a hug of a show. It's so nice. It's an animated show based on like Scandinavian folklore. It starts off kind of seeming like a baby show. Which there's nothing wrong with a baby show. I watch some of those too. But it's not- it's like for- I would say it's like ages 7 to 12 maybe? Where it's aimed? I love it. It's so good. The third season just aired. It's on Netflix and it was like very, very good. It got a little actually scary. Not like scary, scary, not scary for an adult, but I would say scary. If you have a kid who's sensitive, probably too Probably watch it first to see if it's going to be too scary for them. But I love that show. I want more people to watch it. These are really limited color palette and it just feels like it feels so good to watch. It's like watching a hug. She also says, <laughs> there's a one point where the teacher says something about rocks and she gets really offended and she's like, but I love rocks. And every time she says that, I go, oh my God, this is me. <laughs> I am Hilda. Is it actually dirty in there? Oh, it is. That's kind of annoying that they did that. At least I noticed it though. I can't get up again. Cool. Sword windmill seems quite dangerous. <laughs> it doesn't seem very practical, does it? Green. Mm, you might chop some heads though, I guess if you're trying to catch some heads, that might work. Oh, this one's not clean. Oh, that one's not clean. fences got all the way clean. Uh oh. Well, it's just a golf course. <laughs> Don Quixote wouldn't want to tilt at that one. Maybe he would. Might bite back. Oh god, my neck! to get the back side of that one. Oh my god, it's so bright. Can I upgrade the power wash? I did, yeah. I feel like I'm using the this is the heavy duty one. It's the biggest one I've got, I think. Not much spinning is happening. Maybe that's good because I'm standing on it. I think this is the strongest one I've got, but this is like a bonus level, so it might be different.
Thank God they're not spinning. I'd be in trouble. Got it. Got it. Did we already get that one? I'm not sure. This one is not clean. Okay, there now it is. Look how filthy this thing is. Sorry, not the mic. Boring clean. Those dirty swords. Looks like a default. Good all-rounder, heavy-duty pressure washer. But this is the only option they're giving me for this one. Because I feel like it usually gives me this thing where I can change them. I don't see that here. So I think it's because it's the bonus level? The store? I own everything up to this one. But I think this is all I can use here because I don't own the soap and it's giving me the option to use the soap. So I think it just gives you whatever you can use for the bonus ones is my guess. Is it all of them, or just one sword is clean? I didn't see what it said. I think it's just one sword. Oh no. <laughs> this windmill is very funny. Oh, and it's still dirty too, look. They're easily amused. <laughs> Dutch people seem to like me. Okay, we got another one. Is that all of them? I don't know if it is. How many swords pinged? Windmill blades. Okay, we're good. I keep pushing that. How many holes are there? Is it clean? This is gonna take forever. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. I see why Idol has played this in multiple streams. Okay, it's clean. This is still not clean though. You 
think they're windmill purists? I've never met a Dutch person who seems to care about it, really. But maybe they do, I don't know. The Dutch people we know seem like very chill about everything. Something over here just dinged. Oh, there's some dirt right there. Let's try to clean this off so when we look it doesn't all flash. <laughs> it's hard to look at. I never clog dance with back skits of octopus. <laughs> Need that one, well. Who would? It's made of swords. It's like a good way to get your head chopped right off your body. It's so slow though, it pains me. It hurts me, Glow. <laughs> I said that multiple times, I've been streaming this all day. I'll be like, let's try the Glow way. I do it for like two minutes, maybe 30 seconds, and I'm like, I can't do this, I wanna die. <laughs> it definitely works. I just don't have the patience for it. I definitely think you're right. I just don't know if I have the patience to do it correctly. My phone's kind of blowing up. I hope everything's okay. I bet it is. People tend to like all decide they want to talk to me at the same time. It's been that way my entire life. Like I could not hear from people for like a month and then everybody will pick one day to contact me. It's like it's coordinated. I didn't see it yet. No, I'm sorry. I forgot to watch it. Just be the sunshine. is this golf course? Ooh, this looks like a fun hole. Ooh, I like the dragon, that's cool. There was a volcanic eruption, I think. I'm not sure how the grass and everything is so okay. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's not really the glow wigs. I'm sure glow would like do it correctly, but <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Whoop, nope, sure can't. <laughs> I'm trying, Glow. It's because I love you. It hurts me, though. Oh god, sorry everyone. How am I supposed to get up here? Maybe I carry the ladder up the- ugh. Let's try not to do it with the ladder then. That sounds like a pain in the butt to carry it all the way up here. And it gets in the way too. save yourself time if you just do it correctly and I'm like but <laughs> what if <laughs> what if I didn't what if I did it this way instead what if I just spent an hour just trying to get up there I'm like maybe it will work eventually you don't know it could <laughs> story of my freaking life no fall damage thankfully I would have been dead a long time ago school building. I always wanted to go in these buildings when we went to mini golf when I was a kid. Like, I know there were probably nothing in there, or maybe not even, they might not even have an interior. <laughs> but I always wanted to, they're like little fairy cottages and stuff. I wanted to go in there. Oh my god. Please, let me up there. all the way back down, huh? It's so hard to see the dirt on this for me. Parkour! I'm trying. They, they don't want me to parkour. They want me to go get a ladder like a responsible adult. I'm not into it. This is gonna be so hard to see all the little crevices that I've missed. Ooh, it looks like maybe you can go into this one. Let's go in it. Oops. in there.
No, oh, no, sorry. I don't like when the camera gets stuck and shakes back and forth like that. They do not want me to go in there. No, you will not live out your childhood dreams of going into the mini golf place. Not here. Maybe you can play the game, right? <laughs> That's not happening. I saw it. Over here, I think? <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. This is a new spot. Let's get this as clean as we can while we're down here. I don't know how I got over here. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. Nothing has dinged in like ages. Oops. Not so much. But seriously, like just playing this right now, thinking about finding all the little teeny tiny glowing spots that I've missed at the end is making me want to quit. <laughs> this map is huge! streaming for too long today. I need to stop. It's seven already? Oh my god. I gotta get something to eat and rest a little bit. So you're probably not gonna see me tomorrow since I've streamed for so long today. I'm expecting a call about my meds. Hopefully it comes tomorrow. Getting a water jet to clean it. There's a, there, like, there's a chance I might show up tomorrow. If I do, it's gonna probably be at a weird time. It probably won't be my normal time. And it, like, since I streamed so long today, it's very unlikely. This might be the most I've ever streamed in a day, honestly. It's too much streaming. I'm probably gonna get a headache. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it was fun though. I had a good time. That's true. I did. I really put in the time with that game. 
I wanted to like it so bad. I wish it would have been better for me. If I could fly, this would be so much easier. Good luck with the meds. Oh, thank you. I need it. It's that's frustrating. Oh, I love this song. I wish we would have just had a small house that we could, like, wash and be done with. Thinking vehicles. I'm probably gonna have to bring the ladder up here to do this one. I don't see any way I'm gonna be able to get all these little crevices just out of like luck and hoping that I was thorough enough. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. I thought maybe if I started at the top it would be easier. But I guess that's the point of these bonus levels, huh? It's to, like give you extra to do so you don't say, Ah oh, jeez, when are they gonna make Power Wash Sim 2? at 99% probably. What's up Tiger? How's it going? Thank you. It's gotten a bit flat. It was much curlier early today. My hair, even my hair is tired. Like it's time to stop. <laughs> oh look, ice cream cart. I want some hot Cheetos and a uh, Coco Paleta. I don't know if they can blame all this green mold on the volcano though. I feel like they just have, maybe they bought this and it was in a state of extreme disrepair. So they're getting me to wash it so they can reopen the mini golf course. This is a mini golf course. Dragon down there. This lady hates her job. I feel bad for her. Oh no. 
feel like that's a good sign to quit it. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna clean all of this today. Well, maybe if I keep saying I'm gonna stop and then don't. This is not powerful enough from down here. Oh, they don't like that. No parkouring for you, Pondrick. You walk up the stairs like normal. Oh, this looks pretty clean up here, actually. There. We got one thing cleaned. <laughs> Wait, is it just part of it? I thought it was the whole... Oh, it's per section. But I want to play mini golf. Well... You can play. <laughs> I just can't promise you're not gonna get a horrible disease or anything. Bring your respirator. <coughs> I don't know that these are gonna ding because I don't think I cleaned the other side of these ones yet. And I just don't have time to clean this all right now. I'm too tired. It's too much work. I've been streaming for too long today already. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Can I just eat some soup or something? Hi, yay, yay. I'm stuck. Is that the castle? Was that the castle clean? What just stinged up? Did you guys see it? I would be happy if the castle was clean. The holes are huge, jeez. Is it the castle? 41% is pretty good. One wall. No, the castle is not clean. Some part of the castle is clean. Dirty? They looked really clean to me. Oh, drawbridge is clean. golf course. Sign is cleaned. Look at the little chameleon. Frog? Frog. That's a frog. <laughs> This is cute. I would play golf here. Mini golf. Oh, the moat is clean. The wall is not clean. I was like, what is it? The moat is clean. There's all this dirt right here. Yeah, 
else there I missed? I keep accidentally clicking the mouse button. You know, I'm getting really tired. <laughs> Frog is clean. Arch is clean. Arch is clean. That's still dirty. Good long day after cleaning. It's been a very long day of virtual cleaning. Floor's clean. Seems like there's dirt right here, but it might just be a shadow. Or just clean. Floor is clean. Oops. Is clean. Oh, don't jump out. I feel like we got this pretty clean. Like the castle's not all the way clean. I feel like that might have to be good enough for right now. Because I'm tired. <gasps> oh my god, I streamed so long. I'm exhausted. So we we'll go from something like this. Oh look, there's scratching back here. <laughs> Is that a Mario? No, it's a little gnome guy. With a Trogdor dragon. And an archer. That's cute. <laughs> Very cute. Alright, let's go look at end in our clean spot. Wait, how do we get up there again? This is a nice little golf course. Alright, there we go. To do. Sort of done. <laughs> We're 44%. That's gonna be good enough. Let's see if there's someone to raid. Someone I want to raid. If I just want to end and go lay down, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I think I am just going to end it. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Go follow everybody in the chat. Most of them are streamers. All of them are lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you, Glow. Go watch Glow later tonight if she streams. Uh, I may be here tomorrow. If I am, it's going to be at a weird time. Probably won't be at my normal time. This is not my normal time, and my schedule is going to be all messed up for a little while until I can get my ADHD meds sorted out so i hope you all have a lovely evening or day depending on what time it is for you take good care of yourselves and we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye